yeah. think we've got one. Angie yeah. Horkins here with the Wisconsin Beef Council, and uh, she has some tasty recipes. First and foremost, though, let's talk a little bit about the kinds of beef we're using today because they're popular this they, time of year. They are very popular. Um, us Wisconsinites love our prime rib. Yeah. <laughs> we eat it all year round when we go right. out to eat on Saturday nights, but it's also um, a favorite in home on Christmas, Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. New Year's, New Year's Eve, because these are um, the ultimate cuts of beef. They're the most tender, the most flavorful. Um, they're premium cuts, so it's a great time to splurge on them if you don't make them all year round, which mm -hmm. a lot of us don't. So the two cuts we're talking about are a ribeye roast. So this is prime rib, but when you go to the supermarket, it's not going to be labeled prime rib. Mm -hmm. It's going to be labeled a ribeye roast or a rib roast. Um, you can get them bone in, boneless. Right. Um, they might be labeled small end, large end. Um, can be confusing, so make friends with your meat department. <laughs> Talk They're to friendly. yes, exactly. Talk to them, have them help you out. Tell them you have this many people. Um, you'd like them each to get you know a really nice mm -hmm. slice, or you're gonna just do appetizers, whatever. They will help you out on what to get. So this is a four and a half pound boneless ribeye roast. It'll feed quite a few people, mm -hmm. especially at the holidays because we have a lot of sides. So we like to say at least three people per pound. And then this is a tenderloin. Now. Um, it is also great, no waste on it, super lean, but also the most tender cuts. So right. it's melt in your mouth, um, not as flavorful as a ribeye, but both super, super popular. What are you seasoning them with? Well, today I have um, this ribeye roast, I have it's an espresso crust on it. Mm. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> so it's, it's really ground like espresso, brown Put sugar. Coffee and everything, folks. Yeah. It's very, can you smell it? Yeah. I, it smells delicious and so it good. tastes delicious. So the espresso, the brown sugar, salt and pepper, that's it. Now, all you need to make both these roasts is a roasting pan, nice. like your turkey roasting pan, mm -hmm. a rack, and then the, the oven safe meat thermometer. And they're both dry heat because they're tender. You're not tenderizing them, you're just right. roasting them. So dry heat, no water, no liquid, no cover for both of them. The ribeye goes in a 350 degree oven. The tenderloin's a little hotter, 425. Mm -hmm. Tenderloin does not take very long at all. You know, this is a two pound tenderloin. I would say 30 to 40 minutes for a nice pink medium rare. I just put a little bit of thyme on that, fresh thyme and salt and pepper. And then there's a recipe for easy um, balsamic cranberry sauce to go with it. Yeah. Um, so super simple. You want to bring, take your roast out of the oven, watch your meat thermometer at 135 degrees. Now, 145 is medium, but with these larger cuts of beef, you want to take them out and let them rest. Mm -hmm. So, like, after you grill your steak, you know, we like mm -hmm. to tell you, let it rest. Let these rest 15 to 20 minutes. People like to rest 15, 20 minutes. Big people in <laughs> particular like exactly. to rest after we've eaten. Exactly. Tend it with foil, Just let so. it rest. It's going to... It's not going to get cold, but the juices are going to settle back into their pockets. So when you carve it at the table for your Christmas meal, mm -hmm. all the juices are going to stay inside, and you are going to have a super, super, super meal. Good super stuff. Tasty. And you can find all of these recipes online at beeftips.com or on the Facebook page for the Beef Council, facebook.com slash Wisconsin Beef. Early happy Merry Christmas to yeah. you. Happy you holidays. too. Happy holidays.